In this reaction, we have C5H12O2 plus O2. This is a combustion reaction. We have this hydrocarbon here plus oxygen, and we get carbon dioxide and water. So let's balance it. We'll count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have five carbons, 12 hydrogens, and two oxygens, plus these two oxygens right here. Do not forget those. On the product side, we have one carbon, two hydrogens, two oxygens, plus one oxygen right here. So we have three oxygens. Let's leave the oxygens till last. Start with the carbon. We need five carbons here to balance these five. So let's put a coefficient of five in front of the CO2. One times five, that'll give us five carbons. Those are balanced, but the oxygens, we need to update those. So now we have two times five, that's 10, plus the one here. That gives us 11 total oxygens. Might as well do the hydrogens next. Let's put a six in front of the H2O. So two times six, that balances the hydrogens. We need to update the oxygens again though. So now we have two times five, that's 10, plus we have one times six. That gives us a total of 16. And that's good because that's an even number. Oxygen, it's all by itself. So to get 16, I need to think of two plus some number gives me 16. So two plus 14, that would give me 16. So let's put a seven here and then update this. So we have our two plus two times seven is 14 and that equals 16. So now the oxygens are balanced, everything else is balanced and we're done. This is the balance equation for C5H12O2 plus O2 oxygen gas. So the strategy here, count all your atoms up, but then when you're balancing, leave the oxygens till last. And that's because the oxygen's by itself here, so it should be pretty easy to fix. This is Dr. V with the balanced equation for C5H12O2 plus O2, and thanks for watching.